Hello and welcome to Metal Solutions USA. Today I'm going to be instructing you on how to install our surface mount security door. Metal Solutions USA is a subsidiary of NT Security. NT Security was founded in 2005 right here in the great state of Texas. We're located in the southwest corridor of Houston. Please visit our website at msusallc.net for more information regarding our company, its history, as well as other product information and product data. All of our security doors here at MSUSA are fabricated using the highest quality steel and finished using the highest quality powder coating. Our security doors are constructed with 2 inch by 1 inch by 16 gauge rectangular cubing as well as 1 8 inch thick sheet metal. All of our designs are created in house and constructed in house on our plasma cutting table. Now it's time to begin the installation. Please remember that safety is our top priority when performing any installation. I've got a few safety items here that I want to make sure you've got before you start today's installation. All right, number one, which is probably the most important, is going to be your safety glasses. All right, you got number two, we've got your earplugs. And then number three, you got your gloves. All these items are necessary to perform today's installation. All right, now second, there's going to be a few tools that you're going to need for today's installation. You've got your, your regular household drill. You've got a hammer. You've got a couple of standard clamps. You've got a, a wedge. Uh, you might have a, a door a door stopper laying around the house. That'll work as well. A level and a tape measure. Now included in your security door package are a few items that you're going to need for today's installation as well. First item is going to be your screws. All right. Second is going to be your drill bit. So you can see the drill bit here. Depending on your installation location, you may also want to purchase a package of weather stripping to go around the border between your new security door and your existing door jam. I'll also touch on this later on in the video, okay? It's now time to start the installation. I've got a guest here with me today who's going to help us uh, install the door. Mauricio, you want to come out and say hello to everybody? Hey, Mauricio. How's it going? Good, good, good. All right, let's knock this out. We should be able to take care of this in about five to ten minutes. All right, now step number one uh, is going to be unpacking your box. All right? This may sound pretty simple, but this is a security door, and it is going to be heavier than your typical your typical door so I would definitely recommend having a second person to help you in unpacking and getting your door set in place now, as you can see here we've already uh, completed step number one um, as you can see again at the bottom we've got our spacers down there holding our door frame up we've got our wedge here on the lock side of your door now the purpose of the wedge is to keep your door lifted off the ground that way when you're complete your door is actually going to open and close without hitting on the on your floor here okay so these are two definitely very important items to notice here as you can see you want to maintain an even space between your new security door and the existing door jam we've chosen to install ours about three quarters of an inch from the front of the trim all right you can if you'd like you can push it all the way back to the strip that's in your door jam or you can come out even farther toward closer towards the front of the trim here. Either way is fine, it's just based on your preference, okay? 
Now we're going to move on to step number two. Step number two is going to require clamping your door to your door jam. All right. So I'm going to give the clamps here to Mauricio. I'm going to have him go ahead and clamp, clamp our door down. Now what these clamps are going to do is they're going to help make sure your door stays in place while we set the screws. After we get the clamps in place, we're going to want to check the level of our door to make sure that we're level and plumb. As you see right up here, we're dead on the money. Go ahead and check the side now as well. Oh yeah, as you can see, we're perfect there as well. Now this is definitely an important step. You want to always make sure when you're when you're installing a door that it's your good and plumb as well as level on the top. Okay. All right. So now uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to step number three, which is going to be inserting the screws. So you're gonna, for this step, you're going to need your drill and the screws that are included in your package. Now, it's important to remember, when you're screwing this in, you always want to start with the screws on the top. You notice how Mauricio is starting over here on the top right? You can start on the left, it doesn't matter, but make sure you start with the top. That's the most important part. All right, got that one screwed in. We're going to move over here to the second one. All right. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, after you're done with the top, you can go ahead and remove that clamp because the top is, is already secure. All right. And now we're going to move on to the sides. Now on the sides, you're always going to want to start with the top and work your way down. Got one side completed. Oh, sorry. Very nice. <clears throat> now, we're going to go ahead and take off this clamp since we're good on this side. Now he's going to, Richard's going to move to the second side over here. The top has got two screw holes, and each side has got four. Okay, so it'll be a, a total of ten screws you'll be and putting into the, into the wall. All right, very good. That wasn't too bad, was it? All right, now we're going to move on to step four, which is going to be rechecking our level and our plumb again. So, Marisha, if you want to go ahead and check, check uh, what we got again. All right, very good, dead center. Go ahead and check the top one more time. All right, same thing, dead center. All right, very good. So now we can go ahead and pull our, yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and check this side as well, just to make sure. All right dead on the money. So as you can see all three sides are coming out level. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to putting in our, our plugs here. Uh, we got some plugs that are going to fill your, they're going to fill the screw holes. I've got two here. We're gonna, of course there'll be ten in your package but we're just going to go ahead and put two in just to kind of show you how it's done. Real simple. You're just going to stick it right in the hole and then that's going to expand. That way it stays inside the hole nice and snug. Okay. Now if you ever needed to pull one of these out you could simply grab a chisel or a screwdriver, 
and pop those things right out, okay? Hopefully that won't need to happen, but let's say you're removing or something and want to take the door with you, you can always pop those out, undo the screws, and remove it, okay? All right, now the last thing we want to do here is we're going to go ahead and take out our spacers down here at the bottom. You're going to go ahead and grab your trusty hammer. Go ahead and pop those spacers out. Go ahead and take them on out, yeah. Good. All right, thank you, sir. And then after you take the spacers, go ahead and pull out the, go ahead and pull the wedge out of the bottom right here. Go ahead and check our door. So you can see there it closes nice and easy, nice and smooth. You can see it looks nice, but it also provides great security. Um, I know most of you guys have worked hard for your homes and for your businesses. Uh, I know you want to protect them. So having a nice, strong security door uh, is definitely a good way to go. Alarms can only do so much. They're only going to reach out to the police for you. This is going to actually prevent someone from getting in your home or your business, okay? Uh, the last thing here we're going to touch, touch about is uh, we got the hardware here. This is something you're going to have to go out and purchase yourself. Uh, you do have to get the lock set and the handle. Um, we would have included it, but we felt like a lot of you may have wanted to match existing hardware that you had at your home already or your business. Uh, so that's something you will have to get and install. All right, last but not least here, I've chosen to use some weather stripping on my door. Uh, this is, again, totally optional. Uh, but any hardware store you should be able to find your weather stripping here. All you're going to do with this, you're going to take off a little uh, paper back on it and then stick it right down the border here. Run it right down the edge. Now as you can see, I've ran it down this one side right here. That's going to be it. Uh, obviously, at your home, you go ahead and finish it out and go down both sides. But for today's video, um, I showed you how to run the one strip. That's going to be it for today. We've got our door complete. It's installed. I want to thank you for joining us here at Metal Solutions USA. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, the video today and found it helpful with your security door installation. Uh, check back in with us on some more of our instructional videos. Uh, please visit us at our website. MSUSALLC.net for more information regarding our products. Thank you.